Ben Moore here from Training with BM, helping you to work smarter, not harder. And in today's video, we're going to carry on looking at our moat extension that I started in my last video, mainly because you guys love it. And second of all, I want to show you how versatile it is rather than just using it for Google Classroom marking. Okay, so let's get started. So as you can see at the moment, I'm in my Google Classroom stream page. Um, and what I want to do is try and spice it up a little bit, save us a little bit of time in terms of posting announcements. So announcements are normally uh, class messages or important notices for the class um, in Classroom. So uh, instead of typing all this out every time, I want to make a voice note, uh, which is a little bit more personal and saves me time and post it straight in Classroom. So the way to do that is by clicking on the moat extension at the top of your screen and clicking this where it says record a moat voice note. Good morning everyone, I just want to do this video as a quick demonstration of moat anywhere. Okay, so what it will do is think about it and it will copy it to the clipboard, which means you can paste it anywhere you want. So it can be in classroom, it can be in chat, it can be in Gmail, it can be in social media, anywhere you want to. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the announcement bit here and just paste the message in. So if I'm using a Windows or a Chromebook device, it'll be Control and V. If I'm using a Mac or a MacBook, it'll be Command and V. I'll just hit post on there. So it saves me a lot of time. Obviously, it does pull through a transcript. Um, it should do about 95% of it. And if it doesn't quite get it right, you can just hit edit on here and you can edit the transcript of your note. OK, so it's pulled through everything apart from moat there, which is which is pretty good going. OK, and just hit save and it will uh, redo the transcript for you. OK, now students can see this without the extension again. Uh, which is fantastic. They don't need to install or do anything from their end. All they need to do is click the play button, which is great. Now, what I could also do is I could pop that into a chat message. So, for example, my colleague Darren, I could just click on chat, paste it in again, and hit send. Okay, so I can just send that straight across to him, really nice and simple. And that might be beneficial if staff are asking for support or help with something, but you don't have time to jump on a Google Meet to help them. And you can just pop this in um, and, you know, save yourself a lot of time. And the same with an email. If I was to go through and send myself an email, if I give myself uh, my other email address, uh, I'm just going to put in here demo. I can paste that voice recording and send it as a email to someone. So you can just see how quick and versatile that is. And, you know, saves my staff at, at my school, you know, so much time. And they really, really love it. So... You know, I hope you feel the same about it and this can be used across social media and, and so many different places just by pasting it straight into uh, you know, wherever you want to put it. And you can just go back and record another one really simply by clicking on it again and starting the process again. Okay, so if you like this video, please share wide and far with your colleagues. You know, I really appreciate all the support I've had so far and, and the really kind messages and emails from you all. Um, you know, I've just hit nearly 1.4k uh, subscribers. That means so much to me as a, uh, you know, as an educator, as a supporter uh, for you guys, trying to help you work smarter, not harder. You know, I really like that. So if there's one thing you could do for me, is just like this video and share with everyone that may find it useful and tell them to subscribe to me. Um, but in the meantime, stay tuned for my next video and I'll see you there. Take care.